Good evening and thanks for joining us for our ongoing live coverage of the 2014 midterm election. It looks like it's shaping up to be a historic night in Iowa. The polls have closed a couple hours ago and Iowa is about to become a red state. Joni Ernst is the projected winner in the race for the open Senate seat. Experts have called that Republicans will take control of the U.S. Senate. Bruce Braley has just now conceded the race to Joni Ernst. We'll be bringing you special political updates throughout the night right here on Daily Iowan TV. I'm Greta Miley. And I'm Nick Fisher. We have a lot in store for you tonight as votes come in and final results are determined. Reporters are standing by in Des Moines and Iowa City to bring you an inside look at Democratic and Republican watch parties. We have our own Katie Stites reporting downtown in Iowa City. Hey guys, I'm here at the mill and as you can see, it's getting pretty crowded as people anxiously await the election results. Both politicians and community members came out all hoping for the best. <laughs> I think the Democrats are going to take a hit, um, just seeing like the current polling data, what's going on, but hopefully we'll pull through. Reporting from the mill, Katie Stites, Daily Iowan TV. Republicans are gathered at the Coralville restaurant Mondo's to support Marionette Miller Meeks. This is the third time the two candidates have fought for the 4th District seat. Just before Joni Ernst was projected to take the U.S. Senate seat, we spoke to Austin Love, who is at the GOP rally. Thanks guys, I'm back here in Des Moines and as you can tell since the last time we talked, the room is a little more packed and a little more anxious as polling results come in. I'm here with the Iowa native uh, John Gorman. John, how are you feeling so far about the uh, Iowa election? Feeling really good about it. We expected to have a good turnout, but you never know until the votes are counted. I spoke with Iowa GOP Jeff Kaufman about the results. What we're dealing with in, in this midterm election is a culmination of the candidates all speaking uh, with the same amount of goals, the same energy, the same commitment. I, I think the Republicans in 2014, it's going to go down uh, into the annals, reinforcing the fact that, that politics is a team endeavor. Reporting from Des Moines, I'm Austin Love. We also spoke to Michelle Nago at the Democratic rally moments before the Senate race was projected. Hey guys, check out this crowd behind me. It's been two hours since polls have closed and there's still plenty of people pouring into the Democrat watch party in downtown Des Moines. And I talked to one person who was behind the scenes the entire campaign trail. It's, it's you know, the party's big supporters who have oftentimes worked extremely hard for months, if not more than a year. And now is the time, you know, to see the progress of their work, to be with their friends and their supporters, and to really be appreciative of all of the efforts that we've put in. Now it still may take a couple more hours until the final results are called, so tune in tomorrow's show to find out who won the Senate race. Back to you guys at the desk. We talked to her again just moments ago, and the rally has become quieter and much less enthusiastic. We now have our own Anna Theodosis in the studio to give us a summary of everything that's happened tonight. Anna? Thanks guys, with all the Johnson County precincts reported, let's take a look at a few races besides the Senate race. Longtime Governor Terry Branstad will keep his seat in the governor's office. Jack Hatch was his Democratic opponent. Branstad won by a landslide in his victory speech. He said, quote, hard work, focus, and discipline has made this campaign a success. We've laid the foundation to make Iowa the envy of this nation. Hatch's campaign has been an uphill battle. The governor was leading in the polls by at least 14% since June. Branstad wasn't the only politician running to defend his seat. In the second congressional district race, U.S. Representative Dave Loebsack is facing off against Marionette Miller-Meeks. As of 10.50 tonight, Loebsack has a 10-point lead, lead over Miller-Meeks with 43% of the precincts in. The Democratic Loebsack is currently serving his fourth term. And in the 4th District race, 6-term Congressman Steve King is projected to win against Democratic Jen Moore. King will serve his 7th term in the U.S. House of Representatives. We now have an update on the vote for the Johnson County Courthouse. All the votes are in and the Johnson County Courthouse failed to pass for the third time on the ballot. That is our latest update on the elections. 